Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, the other day I showed how to take this project and send it to Fusion 360 so we could round those holes. I received a comment that said build the whole thing in Fusion 360. So friends, let me show you quickly how. So it is 21 by 57. The thickness is three and the holes are just random, except they are evenly spaced from the center. So I have moved to Fusion 360. If you don't have it yet, you can download it. It has a 30 day trial. If you're coming from Tinkercad like I am, step one would be to go over here to preferences and make sure you change your pan, zoom and orbit to fit Tinkercad. I also did reverse the zoom direction and after that, I was good to go. All right, so everything we do in Tinkercad is with solids. Everything you do in Fusion 360 starts with a two-dimensional sketch. So we're gonna create a sketch. And I'm gonna look at this from the corner. I wanna create it from the top down, so I just chose my work plane. Now we're gonna build a rectangle. If you look over here, this is a two-point rectangle. We are just gonna click, stretch it out, click, set it down, and hit escape just draw your shape define it afterward we're going to define it by pressing the letter d and then click on the side you want to define when you click a second time you can type in your number remember that one was 21 click this side lift it up this one was 57 and press enter now the other thing we have to do see how these are all blue we need to define these by using constraints so I am going to use a coincident, and I want to go from this corner to the origin. Bam! It snaps, and because those measurements are locked, it turns all black, which means it's defined, and I can hit Finish Sketch. Now that we've got that 2D shape, we can do Extrude. You could look under Create for Extrude, but I'm always going to talk to you about shortcuts like that letter E. So friends, when I hit E, it says, where do you want to extrude? I'm going to click right there. And it asks how far. Remember, it was three and press enter. Bingo, we have just made the base shape. Now we need to create the holes. So once again, I'm going to create a sketch. I'm also going to look from the top and click right here because I want to put it on that screen. Once again, cool shortcuts. If you hit circle, it's C. So I'm going to do C for circle. And I'm going to just put a circle out here. There's my letter C, click, stretch it to any measurement, and then hit escape to cancel. Now once I hit escape, I can click on the edge and I can shrink this to whatever size I want. I'm gonna choose that size. I can also grab the middle and I can move it anywhere. And I had five little circles. So I'm gonna hit C. I'm gonna click out here and I'm gonna draw another one, picking a different size. I am just gonna press enter on the sizes because I've got a cool trick I'm gonna show you in a moment. Now, of course, we have to dimension these. So I'm gonna hit the letter D. I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna bring its measurement up here and I'm gonna make it eight and press enter. Now for this one, I'm gonna click on it, bring it up here, but I'm gonna click on this measurement. So D5 minus, and I'm gonna choose 1.5 and press enter. Friends, the rest of the way down, I am just gonna repeat those steps to make them go down the same amount each time. How slick is that? Friends, I want to line these all up with the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a point. Now the create a point is probably down here, but if you hit these three dots, you can pin it to the toolbar. That is what I have done. I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to put it at the midpoint. See how that little triangle showed up? So with my midpoint placed, I'm going to draw a line. I'm just going to tell you the shortcut for line is L. Notice when it hit the midpoint, it gave us a triangle, and once we click, the triangle actually stays there. So click on it and do X, and then it's dotted. So that means it doesn't really exist when the shape extrudes. So now I can take a coincident line, and I can go from the center of my circle to that line we just made. Bing, bing, bing. And they are all lined up to the center. Now let's hit D for dimension, and let's put a dimension in between each of these circles. 
So I'm clicking on the edge and I'm bringing it up and it's going from center to center. And I'm just gonna press enter for the moment. And repeat that all the way down, pressing enter after I set up each one. Friends, here comes the fun stuff. Remember how this whole thing was 57? I'm gonna take away four and I'm gonna do 53. So I'm gonna double click and where this was 10, I'm gonna do 53 divided by the five shapes and press enter. And then I'm gonna just make this one equal this one and press enter, this one equal this one and press enter. Notice I had double clicked, so I'm gonna delete that and press enter. And finally this one, double click and click that one and press enter. So they are all equal to that first one. Now I just need to put in the dimension for how far it moves. So we're gonna hit D for dimension and I wanna go from here to here, bring it up. I must set that number to seven and press enter. I think I wanna change it to eight and press enter. How cool is that? Notice they all turned black, which means they are defined. Now we can hit finish sketch. I'm gonna look at it from this angle here so that you can see that it's 3D. We're gonna do E for extrude, and I'm gonna click all of these right here. I wanna go underneath, so instead of positive three, I'm gonna type negative three and press enter. Friends, there is the same project. Of course, we did do all this work to get here so that we could add fillets. We're gonna grab everything in the project, press F for fillets, and then we're gonna type one and press enter. There is your cool new shape, completely built in Fusion 360. Now, friends, I am just giving you enough skills to be dangerous. I will show you one more thing that I always enjoy. That is the environment. When I'm done, I love to pick one of the different colors. I also like to shut off the grid. Lastly, let's hit A for appearance. You can see all of the appearance options over here. There are tons. I'm going to go to metal. Let's go to gold. You can see the gold was not downloaded yet, so I'm going to download my gold polished. And once I do that, I can drop it on my shape. How fun is that? Friends, of course, this was just a ton of fun. There are a lot of skills thrown at you. If you are really interested in learning more, I highly recommend the course at cadclass.org. I'm going to wrap up this part of the lesson, though, by doing File Save. I'm going to choose my default project area. And then I'm going to call this Tinkercad Drill. And hit Save. Now, friends, I do want to give a quick shout out to cadclass.org. I am in the middle of this CAD class, 28 steps. It is amazing, and I am learning a ton. I could not share what I'm doing today if I had not started this course. As an added bonus, friends, I have a coupon code for you. If you type 25, capital H, L, TinkerCAD, you can get 25% off the full course price. The training has been fast, fun, and you actually create things on day one, which absolutely makes my day. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.